Hello, good evening. I am Loverly from Global Health Travel Patient Care Team, and tonight we are going to have a video testimonial of a patient to book for a surgery here in Bangkok through Global Health Travel. I want to introduce to you to Maggie. Maggie? Yes? <laughs> I just wanted, uh, uh, we would just like to ask, how did you know about Global Health Travel? Well, originally, I googled Boomerang Grand Hospital on the internet and submitted an inquiry. And my, uh, they responded by saying that they would get the Australian uh, representative to contact me. Uh, and that was Global Health Travel that called me and also emailed me to offer their services. Oh. Uh, how... Uh, what procedure did you have? I had a facelift with Dr. Nom. And uh, how did you find Dr. Nom? Well, actually, that's a very interesting question because when I was looking through the Boomerang Grad Hospital website, I was completely confused because there were over 200 doctors to choose from. And naturally, some of them specialised in different parts of the anatomy. Um, obviously, I wanted to find somebody who would know how to re remodel a Caucasian face. That was one of my concerns, because all the doctors are Thai. And then who specialised particularly in facelifts. And Global Health Travel were able to help me by supplying me with a short list of, I think, only two or three doctors that did facelifts. Uh, however, they did recommend Dr. Non as being number one, and I do agree with that now. So, how was, um, how did you, how, what can you say about your recovery, like, uh, after the surgery and even uh, before the surgery? Well, first of all, I think it's important to say, I cannot emphasize enough to anybody considering having cosmetic or plastic surgery, that it's not a joke, it's not just a holiday. They have to seriously consider all their options before committing to go into a hospital and undergoing an operation. There are risks as well as benefits and it's really important to think about those. And Dr. Non, who I, whose opinion I find invaluable now, um, said to me, unless it's something that really bugs you psychologically and it's something that you look at every single day of your life and it cheeses you off, you, you really worry about it, then do not do it. If it's just a flippant decision, don't go ahead with it. Um, and as far as the, the, the recovery goes, my second suggestion to the patient is make sure you are very clear with your doctor exactly what you want, what your expectations are, ask lots of questions, especially about your recovery, how to accelerate your recovery, what you should and shouldn't do, how much pain you can expect to encounter. Because there are a few patients that I've met during my two weeks here who are complaining about excessive pain, but. I think, as I said before, they were expecting it was going to be a, a joy ride. It's not. It's a serious business and there is some pain involved. But um, if you look after yourself and make sure you rest, that's the most important thing to ensure a speedy recovery. What can you say about the Global Health Travel Patient Care Team? Oh, the patient care team was second to none. <laughs> I'm a doctor myself, so initially I thought, oh, it's going to be really easy. I'll just go there, check into a hotel, get it over and done with, and then I'll be fine. At the last minute, I changed my travel plans and stayed at Prime 11, the global health travel uh, service department, which has in-house nurse carers. And I, I'm so glad I made that decision. The Global Health Travel team have looked after me so well the whole time. It's five-star treatment. Uh, without them, I would have had a very difficult time. You don't realize how incapacitated you are post-operatively. April came to my bedside 
she looked after me, she helped me go to the toilet, even the most minutest thing because you're not able to lift any heavy weights, uh, you can't walk for the first couple of days, you really need somebody to attend to your wounds and having ice packs on tap, always cold, was really good. In fact, I have to say, the global health travel nurses were better than the Brumroom grad nurses. Uh, one thing that really stands out is the fact that they are all Filipino nurses and can speak fluent English, whereas in contrast to this, the Thai nurses do not have such good communicative skills in English and global health travel nurses were always there on hand to translate for me. So I really think that global health travel did a fantastic job. And would you recommend global health travel? Without a doubt, without hesitation, don't go it alone. Even bringing a friend is not as good because your friend will not have the medical or nursing background and experience. All she can do is hold your hand hope for the best. The nurses give you the correct advice to help you make a speedy recovery. Thank you so much Maggie. And I also would just like to add that I have the greatest respect for Dr. Non and if anybody is thinking about having him, I'd definitely go with Dr. Non. He showed me respect, he answered all my questions, compassion, um, and he really made the whole experience an honor to meet him and be one of his patients. Thank you so much, Maggie. It's, you're welcome. Thank you for Thank your you trust. Thank you for looking after me. <laughs> Thank you for your trust for Global Health Travel. May you have a safe year. Thank you. Thank you.